Hey there YouTube lovers, my name is BB8 and today we are going to review Mario Strikers Battle League. It has been a while since I've last done a review video on the channel, but here we are, we're back with more review videos and hopefully I can roll out some more review videos over the coming months for, for not just Nintendo, but non-Nintendo games as well. Because there are a few games I am playing at the moment. Like a whole bunch. I'm playing at the moment. I'm playing Xenoblade 3, 2. I'm playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2. While I wait for Xenoblade 3. And. Splatoon 3 is coming in September. And. Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes that's coming out next week, but I'm not going to buy it at launch because I'm not played Three Houses yet. And we are kind of getting off topic here, so without further ado, let's get into the Battle League review. For the gameplay, Mario Strikers Battle League is a chaotic approach on the soccer genre. Yeah, being developed by Next Level Games. I do think the graphics are way better compared to games such as Mario Tennis Aces and Mario Golf Super Rush. And I do enjoy the, the comic book filter of, of the Hyper Strikes because it does remind me of... Um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which is one of my favourite animated films of all time. Now, back to the review. The comic book filter, unlike past installments, does make the hyperstrikes stand out a bit. And the modes, there's not that really much modes to offer in Battle League. Well, we do have modes such as Quick Battle, Cup Battles, which is the closest we can get to Story Mode, and Strikers Club, which hasn't started yet. But hopefully, we already have been informed that more updates will be coming to the game in the future. And hopefully, alongside new characters, we do get new modes, hopefully, to add a few more hours to the game. And now, for the summary. I know this review has been kind of quick, because there's no story mode to talk about here. But, for the summary, I'm going to give the gameplay a 7.5 out of 10. Because... The gameplay is just fast paced. And, and the Mario Strikers series taking a more unique approach to soccer compared to other games such as FIFA and Football Manager. The graphics, I'm going to give it an 8 because Next Level Games nailed it with the graphics. Similar to Luigi's Mansion 3. And the comic book filter. Like I've already said. On the Hyper Strikes. Does make it stand out a bit more. Compared to past installments. For the characters. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Because the roster. Isn't really that big. Yes. We already have a whole bunch of returning characters from previous Mario Strikers installments, but the only newcomer we have here is Rosalina, only making her debut appearance the same year Mario Strikers Charge came out in Super Mario Galaxy. For content, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Like, we don't really have much content in the game, like I just said, but cop battles are the closest we can get to story mode. And galactic mode in cop battles. Once you beat all the cops. For the length. 
I don't know why I put this in here. Because there's no story mode. But the length... I'm suggesting this is to do with cup battles. But if you were to complete every single cup battle... It would probably take you an average 2 to 5 hours. With every battle being 4 minutes long... And having 3 to 4 battles... Depending if you lose a life or not. It takes around 16 minutes. Like 12 to 16 minutes to complete each cup. And there's like 6 or 7 of them in the game. So I'm presuming it takes around 2 to 5 hours to complete them all. And for the difficulty. I am going to give it a moderate. Because the online is a bit difficult. Because you, you never know who you are going to approach when it comes to online. And, and doing it online is different against an AI. Because, because you might be better than an AI than an actual person. I am going to give the difficulty a moderate for a reason. Overall, I give Mario Strikers Battle League... A 7.9 out of 10. Mario Strikers Battle League is not perfect in any means. But I still find it fun regardless of the game lacking content. And things to do within the game. But the fast paced action and amazing gameplay makes Mario Strikers Battle League. The comeback we have been waiting for for 15 years. And deserves... The title as best Mario Sports title on the Switch. And I do think Mario Strikers Battle League is probably a good FIFA alternative for the Switch. Because I previously gave FIFA 22, the Nintendo Switch version, a 2 out of 10. But Battle League... Is the kind of game you should pick up if you want to play FIFA on the Switch, but it kind of runs terrible. But Battle League running a bit better. So guys, what did you think of my Mario Strikers Battle League review? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notification bell on so you don't miss another video like this one in the future. And like I said earlier in the video, I am going to roll out some more reviews in the coming months. So, that's it for the Mario Strikers Battle League review. BB-8, out.